Hey guys, Ryan here from Wired to Fish, talking about ice augers. There's been a big change in ice auger technology in the last few years that many ice anglers are adopting, and that's electric. And I have two electric augers in my hand right now. One is the StrikeMaster 40V lithium ion. It's a great auger that ships with two batteries. It'll get most people through a full day without problem with the two stock batteries, and that's with a lot of drilling. The other one is a cordless, and you'll see a lot of guys, especially pan fishermen, drilling out lakes with this deal. This happens to be a Milwaukee M18 high demand hammer drill. And I have a StrikeMaster six inch auger with the StrikeMaster drill flange and a little adapter there that lets me hook the standard auger up to it. Now this really kicks butt when you're drilling a lot of holes for pan fishing. You may not need as big of a hole diameter to pull those fish through. And you can be a little bit more stealthy knocking down your slush. So it's not as easy to find where you've been. But I'm just gonna talk a little bit about each of these in their application. So the 40V, this one ships with an eight inch standard size auger. This is what I'm gonna be using most of the time for pike and walleye. Maybe I'm chasing smallmouth or largemouth. Good size hole. I can certainly put a smaller auger on here as well if I like a seven inch, a six inch maybe. And it'll also push a 10. All it is, squeeze the trigger, hit a button. And like all Strike Master augers with the blade technology, it cuts like a hot knife through butter. And I probably have about three feet of ice here and you can see how quickly that cut. As I said, we've had really good success fishing this the last year, uh, the previous ice fishing season in terms of longevity of the batteries. You'll be able to drill, I mean, depending on ice thickness, we've had 30, 40, even 50 holes per charge. It also has a forward and reverse button. You'll hit that if you were to get hung up for some reason, or if you just want to clear slush, you can do a reverse and push the slush down the hole, or you can stay forward and, and pull it back up. Real rugged chassis, you can see this heavy plastic here. I mean, you just grab a hold of it and you feel like you have something substantial in your hands. So it's definitely built for the long haul. They built this thing like a tank. It's pretty light too. I mean, I have no problem throwing this thing around. And lightness obviously is a huge aid when you're covering a lot of ground ice fishing. A couple quick operation notes on the StrikeMaster lithium ion. Number one, the power source, the battery here. It's got a little lever here that you just push up. It detaches. Real easy to slide back in. It's got a channeled groove makes a nice clicking sound and you're good to go. The start button's right here. Before you can initiate the auger, you need to squeeze this handle here. So you put three fingers there and a thumb here, starts operating, and then you have a forward and reverse. A mistake that some ice anglers make when going from a chipper style head to a cutter style head, like on the Strike Master augers, is putting a lot of downward pressure on the auger. You don't need to do that. You basically use gravity in combination with a cutting head. And you could use this as a hunting knife, those auger blades, they're that sharp. So you gotta be careful with them, but you also wanna care for them on ice and not put a lot of downward pressure. All I need to do is hit go, put a little bit of downward pressure, that's it. You don't need to get forceful at all with these augers. And that cutting head does all the work for you. So they are the most effortless type of augers. They're the fastest cutting. You wanna take care of the blades. You don't wanna be running them through dirt and sand and rock, that type of thing. So make sure you got good clean ice, put a little bit of light downward pressure on there, not a lot of pressure, and the things are gonna cut amazingly quick. They're by far the easiest augers to operate and cut lots of holes in a hurry. Nothing wrong with gas augers. They're still a good tool for some situations. Most of the time I'm gonna go electric. If I happen to be going on a remote location where I don't have power, that's when I might wanna pack a gas auger with some extra gas or fish in a big extension on my ice auger to get through four or five feet of ice even and drill in a lot of holes on a particular day. But day in, day out, the electric is gonna cover down on your needs. Now this little guy here is something else. I'm a big fan of the cutter style heads versus the chipper style heads. Both work and there's some good chipper style augers on the market that work well with the cordless. But again, I'm still a fan of the StrikeMaster Mora technology. The auger design coupled with those cutting blades make extremely short work of lots of ice. I mean, this thing's a machine for getting through a lot of ice in a hurry. 
and I'm actually running a higher demand, higher capacity battery on here just to extend the life. It comes stock with a couple smaller batteries, but with three batteries, I can pretty much get through any drill out day. And for pan fishermen on the go, if I have a rod tube over my shoulder and the auger in hand, I mean, this is real lightweight. I don't need anything else. Maybe a five gallon pail with my fish finder and I'm ready to go. You wanna be selective when choosing your drill. Not all drills are created equally. This one happens to be a heavy duty commercial brushless drill. And these are the ones that have the power and the durability to push a drill bit this size, basically. I'm gonna put this right against my body if I'm worried about torque you know, twisting my wrists. And that's gonna support this. So if, if there was some torque, it's gonna push up against my body. I'm gonna put a hand here. First gear, second gear is a little bit too quick. So first gear is all you need. One thing you might see here is this piece of plastic, and that's just a flange to prevent the auger from going down the hole should it become disconnected from the drill. So standard drill there, you got your chuck, you loosen it up. There's the drill adapter piece here where the standard auger screw goes through. And then this is what your chuck secures to. And then this just fits in between. So six inch hole, if it were to become disconnected, it's not going anywhere. It's just a little bit of insurance. Put it back on, put the drill in forward, hold onto the chuck, brace it against your body. There you go. That's fast and effortless. One thing to pay attention to on these high performance drills, these hammer drills, is there's usually three settings on here. There's an impact setting, there's a regular screw setting where you use your braking system to determine the amount of pressure you wanna put on that screw until the brake system kicks in. And then there's a regular hammer drill setting. That's where there is no brake. That's where it's just gonna provide power from the brushless motor down to the auger, and that's what you want ice fishing. Certainly works for panfish, but most of our predator fish, we like an eight inch hole. We like a six or a five inch auger with a cordless like this when chasing panfish. Two really, really good tools that'll serve you well on the ice.